ladies, it's Kiki here and I'm very excited for this video because this is my one month update with you ladies and with myself. Well, let me just tell you that I did weigh myself Sunday and I was 157 but I went to a cousin's party and um, ate a little too much, drank a little too much and I weighed 159 Monday morning. I'm about to weigh myself but I do want to let you ladies know that but besides that it has been going great. I have been having fun and I'm very excited to share this one month's journey with you ladies. So if you're interested in knowing how many inches I've lost in a month, just keep on watching. Alright ladies, I'm going to go ahead and weigh myself now but before I weigh myself I do want to tell you that last Sunday I weighed 157 and I went to a party and I kind of picked out and um, had cake, donuts, a whole bunch of stuff. I kind of undid the 157 so I know that I'm going to probably weigh a little more only because when I weighed myself on Monday I was 159. So we'll see what I am right now, okay? Okay, so I am a 158.8. All right, ladies, so I am a little late on making this video. I do want to apologize to you. I just started working out about two weeks ago with my cousin, and we have been making videos here on YouTube, um, not only for people out there, but for myself, basically. I want to keep track. It's like a diary, if you will. I've been on and off this journey, and it's so easy to gain the weight, and it's not as easy to lose it. So I just always want to remind myself, hey, you work so hard. like. You you really have to stay on track or at least try to stay on track because look how hard you work you know what I mean so anyways I will post down the videos down below if any of you want to check them out or you can just go to my YouTube main page and watch my videos there if you'd like all right ladies so we're gonna go ahead and weigh myself the last time I measured myself I measured around 35 inches around my waist and we're about to see how many inches I lost I'm very excited about it Alright ladies, so I am wearing one of the tank tops that I want to talk to you about. This is from Walmart. And let me just tell you that these are so, so soft and they've become my favorite to use underneath my waist trainer. Um, so I definitely recommend you ladies to check them out. They are 288. They have different colors. Let me show you real quick before I get into this, okay? They have this gorgeous, like, maroon oxblood color, I would say. I picked up this, like, blue, fuchsia, blue. They also had these last year. I wanted to show you this. This is like um, a smooth one. It doesn't have lines like this one. Let me show you the, rip, the little ripples. I'm not sure if you can see them there. You can also use these under cardigans, sweaters, or anything that you want to use them under. Um, they are very cute camis, and I absolutely love the colors, and they're so, so soft. Highly recommend for you ladies to pick these up. These are $2.88. Let me see if the price is on here. No, but they are from the brand No Boundaries. I'm not sure if you can see that. No boundaries, okay? Definitely pick these up. These are super soft, and I love to wear these under my waist trainer. All right, ladies, so this is what I look like currently. Let me just give you a quick view. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and measure myself. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out. All right, so here we go. I want to say right at 33 inches. Let me see if I can see that there. And I have that wiggle room there. Right at 33 inches, I want to say. Okay? So I've lost two inches. So that is awesome for me because I want to take this as slow as possible. I want to be able to stay consistent with it. And I want to be able to keep doing it. But at a, how can I explain this? At a reasonable time frame. Okay ladies, so in my last video, I showed that I moved down to a medium and this is the one that I used, the Vogue one from Amazon. And let me just tell you that this one is okay. It was not my favorite because I had a, several ones. Well, I had four and this was not my favorite. This one has, let me see how many steel things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it has nine. I forget the name of these, I drew a blank, so I'm sorry. So it has nine steel thingies, and I'm just gonna put it on so I can show you how I knew that it was time to size down from this, because I am currently at a small, and I have to tell you about this waist trainer that I absolutely fell in love with. I'm about to show you next, as soon as I show you how I knew it was time to size down from this one. Okay, ladies, so this is the Vogue one in the size medium, 
and as you can see from the first video when I showed you how my large fit, this one there has a lot of room there and then a lot of room under here. And the, I've never liked the way it fit. I'm not sure if you can see how the back looks, but it's just, I don't know, it's just creates weird, weird shape back here. And I just didn't like that. And also, I can put my hand through it. So I knew that it was time to size down from this one, okay? So now I'm about to show you my favorite one, which I think everybody and their mama should buy because that waist trainer is just absolutely amazing and I love it. And this is the one we sized down from ladies, the Vorvo in the size medium, okay? So now I'm about to show you my favorite one. All right, ladies, so I showed you earlier all the tank tops that I love to use underneath my waist trainer. They are from Walmart, super soft, 288, so many colors to choose from. So let me just tell you that I am absolutely head over heels in love with this trainer right here. This is a 25 steel bone waist trainer from the brand Yana. And I got this off of Amazon for $30. Yes, you heard that right, $30 and it's freaking amazing i absolutely love it but let me just tell you that when i first put it on oh my god i was struggling it took me like about 40 minutes to put this on because it, it's a size small let me go ahead and show you the sizing so this is it from the brand yana and it is in the size small Okay, and let me just show you that it's like a latex and it has 25 steel bones in it. And I've been wearing this for about, I want to say, two and a half weeks. Okay. And this is what the inside looks like. And it's absolutely amazing ladies I feel like I want to try all of the brands 25 steel bones because I absolutely love the way this fits and I'm about to show you why I fell in love with this okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on just so you can see what this looks like again this is from the brand Yana $30 from Amazon um, and this is not a sponsored video I buy all of these products on my own this is my review on what has worked for me everyone is different but I just truly want to share this with you ladies because this right here amazing absolutely love the way this fits I will leave this in the description down below if you're interested all right so I'm gonna go ahead and show you now all right ladies this is what the Yana waist trainer looks like on I'm gonna go ahead and pull this down a little bit so you ladies can see get the full picture of it absolutely love this waist trainer and I currently have it on the last rope only because I want a tighter compression I'm gonna go ahead and show you the side and the back and then the other side and back to the front Okay, and for the back fat, I've already told you ladies on my previous video that you can use a um, sports bra to cover that um, area back there, okay? So this is my favorite waist trainer, ladies. Everything is in there, no bulging anywhere. This area is just absolutely flat. Also, I did mention FUPA in my first video, but a lot of people know that word more as like the street word, which is fat upper punani area. But actually, it's a medical word for your, like your mama pouch or your mother's apron. Or when you gain weight, you have a little pouch down there. So that is why I used the word fupa last time because that is the medical term for it, okay? I should have explained that, but anyway, yeah. So let me just tell you ladies that this is my favorite waist trainer out of all of the ones that I've tried so far, including the Vanabelt one. This 25 steel bone is absolutely amazing and I think everyone and their mama should buy one because let me just tell you that it will snatch you up yes it will take you a little bit of time to get in it but trust me once you do it is the most comfortable thing let me just tell you that I fell asleep with this on and it is the most comfortable waist trainer I can't describe how comfortable it is like you don't even feel that it's on I can do just about anything with this on and I believe this is like a medium torso one I just can't describe how much I love this waist trainer. It's affordable, it snatches you up like no one's business, it's super comfortable, 
and I don't even know what else to say because I just love it absolutely love it just look at that just just look at that no weird bulging anywhere everything is just like seamless I don't know I just I just absolutely love it ladies and I think that you should get one too now this is the latex one okay this is the latex one that I got I know Yana has different ones but the one that I got is the latex one so I'll leave the link for this one in my description down below in case you're interested in trying it out again this is not a sponsored video this is just me telling a girlfriend hey girl you need to go get this because this is it okay this is it and you need this I'm just trying to give you the hookup girl <laughs> and with the waist trainer on ladies let me just go ahead and measure myself I am at 31 inches 31 inches with the waist trainer on just so you can see there we go also I do want to mention that I have been wearing my waist trainer six to eight hours and then I'll have Sunday off so six days um, six to eight hours and then I'll have Sunday off. All right ladies, so now that you've seen my progress, I've lost two inches in a month and I am more than happy about that because I've also, let me just tell you that I didn't eat as clean as I said I would. I did have like tacos one weekend, Chick-fil-A another. I tried to stick strictly to water and um, no sugary drinks because I'm the type of person that I see sugar and I balloon up. So I really stay away from from candy the thing that gets me it's um chips like i love spicy chips doritos oh my goodness <laughs> that is like my kryptonite what i would suggest is setting small goals for yourself and checking in setting achievable goals for yourself don't be too hard on yourself either right now we're in this pandemic we're most of the time at home, we get hungry, we want to eat, you know, just set achievable goals. Once you set your achievable small goals for yourself, I def definitely recommend you to check in. Let's say, have a little diary and put how much you weigh if you want to, measure yourself for sure, um, keep that in there. You can also take pictures as well so you can go back and, and see your progress. I think that you, if you take like front pictures, side pictures, back pictures, that will also definitely help you see your progress. And then a month from now, go ahead and weigh yourself again and measure yourself again. Or if you don't want to do a month, you want to do two weeks. In two weeks, weigh yourself and measure yourself. Try to check in, not checking in. You know what I mean? There's a difference between that. There's a lot of people that are compulsive into doing that consistently and you can do that with not just weighing yourself but measuring yourself constantly looking at yourself constantly have fun with this because you're not going to do this overnight if you want to mold your body if you want to lose weight if you want to gain muscle if you want to you know Rome wasn't built in one day you know a lot of people say that phrase but honestly it's not gonna happen overnight be realistic with yourself set little goals check in two weeks a month two months whenever you're checking maybe that's when you should be checking in if you're in this for the long run then just definitely try to be consistent i feel like any little bit of change matters and that's what's most important because you're gonna get to your goal but just stay consistent consistency is key again just try to have fun with it and i know you're gonna get there you're gonna get there just set small realistic goals for yourself and i know you got this girl you got this because if i got this you got this anybody could do it just gotta have that mind frame to do it also i do want to tell you that if you are serious on waist training and if you feel like you know you're doing this alone join a facebook group because there's gonna be a whole bunch of ladies there sharing their stories posting on a daily and you can talk to them you can cheer each other on they're gonna keep you motivated you can keep them motivated a community like that always helps because it just gives you motivation hopefully that makes sense i will see you next month with my monthly check-in with you guys and myself i won't measure myself or wear myself till next month ladies thank you to anyone that watched this video and i'll see you on my next one bye